When embarking on a 1,000-mile journey from Florida to North Carolina, selecting the right car involves considering various factors such as fuel efficiency, comfort, safety features, and practicality. Our choice for this trip was the 2024 Hyundai Tucson in inline specification. Opting for the inline trim, which features a hybrid powertrain instead of the traditional gasoline engine, provided us with enhanced power and mileage. Compared to its gas counterpart, the Tucson Hybrid boasts 226 horsepower compared to 187 horsepower, offering superior efficiency, a crucial aspect for long journeys. Covering a total distance of 1,133 miles across four U.S. states allowed us to assess the strengths of the Tucson while also identifying areas for improvement. Fortunately, Hyundai is set to introduce a facelift model for the 2025 lineup, which promises to address some of our minor concerns. While the upcoming 2025 Tucson appears to be a significant enhancement, the current 2024 Tucson inline remains a compelling choice due to its solid overall package. However, our experience revealed that the hybrid system's efficiency fell short of expectations during highway driving, underscoring the importance of considering individual usage scenarios. Exterior-wise, the fourth-generation Hyundai Tucson, debuted in 2022, deviates from the conventional compact crossover design with its striking aesthetics. The parametric hidden lights integrated into the distinctive grille give it a futuristic appeal, reminiscent of medieval chainmail armor. The rear features a connected taillight bar flanked by sharp elements reminiscent of a high-performance sports car. Every angle of the Tucson is accentuated by bold creases and edges, inviting further admiration of its design details. The inline trim, now exclusively hybrid, marries sporty aesthetics with optimal efficiency, offering customers a seamless blend of style and eco-friendliness. Sporting distinctive 19-inch wheels adorned with the inline logo at the center caps, alongside model-specific badging adorning the fenders and grille, it elevates the already eye-catching Tucson to new heights of excitement. Available in four colors, though the Serenity White Pearl on our test model comes with an extra $470 charge, alternatives like Titan Gray, Phantom Black, and Ultimate Red come at no additional cost. Inside, the inline, while not the top-tier trim, boasts most of the upgraded tech features, such as the expansive 10.25-inch navigation infotainment system paired with a matching digital gauge cluster. While the interface is intuitive, it lacks wireless connectivity to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, necessitating a physical connection. Curiously, entry-level gas models with smaller screens enjoy wireless phone mirroring. Additionally, the smaller screen benefits from a physical volume knob, whereas the larger unit relies on touch-sensitive buttons. However, upcoming models, like the 2025 Tucson, promise physical knobs for volume and tuning, along with wireless phone mirroring. Beyond these minor inconveniences, the interior of the Tucson impresses. The inline features special sport combination seats, blending cloth and leather for both bolstering and comfort during long drives. Standard heated front seats add to the comfort, while ventilated seats are reserved for the higher limited trim, which also includes heated rear seats. Further amenities in the inline encompass a panoramic moonroof, wireless phone charging, and a comprehensive suite of safety features like adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, which we'll delve into later. Practicality. Spacious compact? Despite its classification as a compact crossover, the Hyundai Tucson impresses with its ample dimensions. Offering a trunk capacity of 38.7 cubic feet, it surpasses the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid by over a cubic foot and outshines the Honda CRV Hybrid, which manages 36.3 cubic feet behind the second row, even less in its top trim. Folding the rear seats expands the Tucson's cargo space to 74.5 cubic feet, just 2 cubic feet shy of the CRV Hybrid's maximum trunk volume. Noteworthy is Hyundai's thoughtful inclusion of levers integrated into the trunk to facilitate seat folding, eliminating the need to access them from the side door. While it may not lead the segment in cargo capacity, it certainly ranks among the top contenders. The Tucson also offers generous passenger space, allowing rear occupants to stretch out with 41.3 inches of rear legroom, surpassing both the RAV4 by 3.5 inches and the CRV by 0.3 inches. Rear passengers benefit from their own air vents and USB ports, premium features seldom found in the mainstream crossover class. Powertrain. 
economical yet potent. Opting for the Tucson Hybrid swaps out the gas model's 2.5-liter, naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine for a smaller 1.6-liter turbocharged unit. While this might seem like a downgrade, the hybrid system delivers a total output of 226 horsepower between the engine and electric motor, along with 258 lbft of torque. In comparison, the gas-only Tucson musters just 187 horsepower and 178 lbft of torque. The EPA rates the Tucson Hybrid at 37-36-37 MPG City slash highway slash combined, with the entry-level blue model achieving an even higher 38 miles per gallon across all cycles. This marks a significant improvement over the regular model's most fuel-efficient rating of 25-32-28 MPG. Additionally, all Tucson hybrids come equipped with HDRAC all-wheel drive as standard, while front-wheel drive is standard on the gas model. It's worth noting that the hybrid utilizes a 6-speed automatic transmission, departing from the regular model's 8-speed variant. During our brief urban driving experience, the Tucson consistently met or even exceeded its fuel efficiency expectations. We easily achieved 39 miles per gallon while navigating city streets. However, this efficiency took a noticeable dip once we hit the highway. Over the course of our 1,133-mile journey, which comprised mainly highway driving with some city commuting mixed in, we averaged a fuel economy of 33.9 miles per gallon. In highway conditions alone, our efficiency dropped further to 31.5 miles per gallon. While these figures aren't dismal, it's evident that the Tucson Hybrid leans more heavily on its electric assistance at lower speeds. If your driving is predominantly highway-based, the non-hybrid gas-powered Tucson might prove to be the more efficient choice, as it doesn't have the added weight of a battery to contend with. This phenomenon isn't unique to the Tucson. Similar trends have been observed in other hybrid vehicles, but it's more pronounced in Hyundai's system due to its operational characteristics. For comparison, a similarly priced RAV4 hybrid boasts a highway rating of 38 miles per gallon, which it likely comes closer to achieving in real-world conditions. Alternatively, if your driving is primarily local, the Tucson PHEV offers 33 miles of electric-only range and a higher output of 261 horsepower compared to the hybrid's 226 horsepower. Driving experience, a smooth cruiser. Our extensive highway journey in the Tucson inline, spanning from Florida to North Carolina, underscored the vehicle's serene cruising capabilities. Even in a budget-friendly Hyundai, the combination of lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control alleviated the stresses of highway driving. While still requiring the driver to maintain hands on the wheel, the system adeptly kept the car centered within its lane with minimal input. Though the six-speed transmission may contribute to the slightly subpar highway fuel economy, it delivers a more conventional driving feel devoid of the characteristic ECVT drone often associated with Toyota hybrids. Unlike the noticeably loud engine of the RAV4, the Tucson's power plant remains subdued, and the absence of road or wind noise at highway speeds creates a tranquil environment. 